Hey guys, welcome back to Sustainable Lit Living. Um, today I'm out here with my friend Michael. This is the gentleman that uh, that inspired me on my house when I built uh, my compressed earth black home. He uh, recently called me the other day and told me that he had some compressed earth block problems on his pump house. So we wanted to take you guys along and just show you the extreme importance of using uh, Portland in your blocks and stabilizing your blocks and show you some of the things that can happen if you do not stabilize your blocks. Now this pump house that he built, he uh, did not use uh, Portland in stabilizing his blocks. He was in a position that he just needed to get the building up uh, fast so he could get his pipes covered and uh, a few years later he had a small leak and now his uh, walls are starting to deteriorate. So I'll show you and I'll let you listen to him and he'll explain a little more about his, his place. For the sake of cost, we decided to forego Portland, obviously believing that uh, we'd never have a leak of any sufficient to uh, worry about. Our basically adobe blocks because they were compressed without any Portland in them, they were basically just earth, like an adobe. And so the one thing that can kill an adobe block or even a stabilized earth block is water and cold freeze. So what you have here is, you can see this example of a small leak right here close to the wall that over time soaked in unbeknownst to us because it was behind this plaster until the earth just gave way, turned into mud, and dropped. And then we realized that we had a leak at that point. Prior to that, we had had um, a situation where some of our glue had come apart on these big pipes, and it actually washed out this portion of the wall over here. So this is not due to this leak specifically, and it was an issue I was gonna have to deal with, but um, now I get to repair all of that. So we have a hose bib in here so that we can, you know, access water from the outside. And we use this uh, for some of the equipment we've been using lately and my sons forgot to turn it off after one of our usage. And so a small drip added to the one that you saw on the inside and caused this side of that corner to fall out, which like I said before, was already eaten out on the inside by the, by the water and so with this side getting wet, it, uh, it fell out even easier than that side from, from the earlier leak. So what we're gonna be doing is uh, I'm gonna help my friend here in the next few weeks on getting this repaired. And uh, he's gonna explain to us what we're gonna be doing in the next few weeks to repair this wall. And we're gonna dig down to that footing, clean it all out like it was when we originally set the blocks up and then we will recreate some new blocks with Portland cement stabilized earth and we will relay them into this corner up to about as high as we can get them and then with our block machine we can make specialty size blocks and we'll just continue to fit them and slide them until we fill this gap up whatever remains we will use um, basically mud like a slip that we will be able to force in there with uh, kind of like a cake decorating bag and you can just force that up in there and it'll fill all the cracks with mud and then as that moisture is pulled out of that mud it will suck all of that together and seal our wall back up then we'll just cut out our stucco and restucco the sides uh, and then just put some more stucco around that new wall that'll be stabilized so that slip that michael's talking about is uh, I'll provide a link up here in my in one of my videos where I showed you when I was laying some block and making basically like that pancake batter that it's uh, made from the same material that you make the block with but you just uh, sift it down to a finer material and uh, that's the material he's talking about uh, using as a wet slip for that so if you have any questions about that here's a link up here watch that video and you'll see that slip mixture there so that's one of the things we're gonna be doing in the next few weeks we're gonna we're gonna make some blocks. I'll show you his machine, the same machine that, uh, that I built my house with. And uh, we will just go through the whole process with you guys between showing how we mix the Portland in the dirt and how it's compressed and, and all that stuff. And we'll show you guys this and uh, it should be fun. 
The purpose of this video is just to really explain to you guys, it's so important that you stabilize your block. It really is just very imperative. You put all that time and money and effort into it to just spend a little extra money, buy the Portland and stabilize 10% of whatever your mixture is, 10% Portland, and uh, you should be good to go. So that's probably the lesson that we want to share with you guys that hopefully you guys will learn from this. I'm gonna be putting out some more videos about compressed earth block, starting with this repair. And then I have a few projects at my place that I'm gonna be doing. Uh, we may not be able to get to it through this next winter, but definitely by spring, we're looking at maybe doing a pizza oven, an outdoor oven, and maybe a small outbuilding. And we'll go through the whole footing process and bond beam with you guys. So stay tuned. I wanna thank you guys for joining us. And if you haven't yet, uh, Give us a big thumbs up, like our channel, and if you'd like, follow us. We'd love to have you follow us on our YouTube journey, and uh, we'll check you on the next video. Thanks, guys.